Now the crowd starting to gather around, uh, signifying the arrival of Mr. Khrushchev. The security officials, Mr. Khrushchev is here, coming up the uh, walk out in front of the Home Economics Building. The Secret Service uh, trying to get the crowd back. They have a giant walkway in which to bring uh, the Premier, the Chairman, uh, toward the Home Economics Building. A great cluster of uh, photographers around the car. Nick Pierce uh, is out in that group with a microphone. Uh, let's see if we can switch down to Nick Pierce and get some commentary. Chairman, how do you do? Chairman Khrushchev, Madam Khrushchev, is she? Khrushchev, you just come right up. How are you? Nice to see you, Mr. Helton. Members of your family, are they close here? here? Fine. Julia Mr. and Mrs. Lodge and other distinguished guests, we bid you a cordial welcome to Iowa State University. This is the oldest official land-grant college or land-grant university in America. During most of the first century, we were known as Iowa State College of Agriculture and Engineering. Last July, our name was changed to Iowa State University. There are six major colleges in the university. Agriculture, Engineering, Home Economics, Sciences and Humanities, Veterinary Medicine, and the Graduate College. We offer undergraduate and graduate training in 55 different departments. We have about 9,500 students during the academic year 4,000 during the summer, a total of about 13,000. Most of our students come from Iowa, but we have students from every state in the Union and from 254 foreign countries. Since you will be here such a short time, we can give you only a very brief picture of the university. We wish you to see just a few classrooms and laboratories and research laboratories in this building here. You will see today classes going on just as you will see any day during the week. We thought Mrs. Khrushchev and your daughters might like to see the work in this building. Because of your particular interest in agriculture, we will make a brief stop at our Swine Nutrition Laboratory to observe some of our research work designed to assist Iowa farmers in improving the efficiency of hog production on Iowa farms. Because your visit is so limited, and we will not have time to explain all of the work of the university, we wish to present to you this history of the university, which has in it an explanation of the work of the institution. When Mr. Miskevich, and I hope I say that right, was here a few years ago, he was kind enough to give us a copy of a Russian cookbook. Now we wish to reciprocate by giving Having one of our students, Miss Diane Restman, a major in home economics, present to Madame Khrushchev a cookbook written by one of our people and published by the university. Also, to the ladies of the group, we wish to request to present a little tile memento which will be in a little basket here so that you might remember Iowa State University. It's just a little tile, tea tile. Then we'll go on the tour. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you very much. What? And there you saw the president of the Iowa State University, great Mr. Khrushchev, Madam Khrushcheva, at the steps of the Home Economics Building. Now the crowd moving inside will move down a corridor, will move down a long reception line. Inside the Home Economics Building, you see the dignitaries, the guests moving in. I move down the reception line.
In the reception line will be the provost at Iowa State University, Dr. Jensen, Mrs. Jensen, Mrs. Hilton, there in the front of the picture as you see. Also in the reception line, Boyne Platt, the Vice President in Charge of Business and Finance at Iowa State University, Mrs. Platt. Of course, we said that the Dean of Agriculture, Floyd Andre, rode with Mr. Khrushchev on his trip from Coon Rapids. In the reception line, Richard Baer, Dean of the College of Science and Humanities. Right in the front of the picture is a good example of uh, the security leading the way. Mr. Khrushchev still on the reception line. The crowd uh, milling around him at the front entrance of this new home economics wing, Iowa State University. Cap Bentley uh, was with me uh, in the broadcast booth. Cap, uh, it would look as if uh, the students at Iowa State University gave Mr. Khrushchev quite a rousing welcome. Yes, indeed, and that uh, was what you might expect at an institution of higher learning such as we have here at uh, Iowa State uh, University. Over in uh, the uh, USSR, we found the students very much interested in America, in our uh, educational system, and our people uh, in the uh, 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 university area. Of course, uh, Cap Bentley just returned about a month ago from uh, USSR on an extended trip, his second year in a row, and uh, of course with Mr. Eisenhower going back uh, to Russia uh, next month or so, uh, we would imagine that uh, President Eisenhower will be interested in seeing the USSR and uh, also the uh, uh, University of Moscow. Yes, and it is a beautiful institution, Dick. Uh, uh, in fact, it's the largest uh, institution in uh, Moscow at the present time. Houses uh, about 12,000 students where they have all of their uh, facilities for working, living, and their educational uh, facilities. Here you see uh, Chairman Khrushchev uh, greeting Dean LeBaron. Dean LeBaron of the Home Economics Division will take uh, Mr. Khrushchev waving to our cameras. Looks a bit tired from a rough trip that he's had today. Madam Khrushchev, Mrs. Hilton following behind. They will go downstairs to one of the classrooms. We say only say one, one of many classrooms in the lower wing of the home economics building. Not a lot of uh, pressmen being allowed to accompany them on the tour. Uh, because of the limited facilities, they will actually see students at work. Classes continuing on at Iowa State uh, University. Mr. Khrushchev and his traveling dignitaries will have a full chance to see the Home Economics Division in full glory. As the Khrushchev party travels down the corridors of this expansive Home Economics building, they will be seeing just one of nine departments in the College of Home Economics. This will be the Household Equipment Department. Mr. Khrushchev and Madam Khrushchev will see students in the basic equipment course taught by Marjorie Martin. The girls in this class are studying nameplates of appliances. Such information may be used to enable one to compare the power ratings of different appliances, determine what combination of appliances can be used effectively on house circuits, to gain understanding of how to use appliances safely, and to guide in estimating the cost of operation of appliances. Chairman Khrushchev, Madam Khrushchev, we should say, and the chairman now taking a look at these rooms. Cap, uh, since you were in Russia, I'm curious as to uh, how the homes of, say, Ames, uh, Des Moines, and the Coon Rapids uh, compare with those of Russia. Well, Dick, it's uh, quite a different uh, setup in Russia. In the cities, primarily, they're building huge apartment houses, eight and ten-story apartment houses that will cover a half a block They'll house from four to six hundred families. These apartments range from two to three room uh, apartments. While out in the rural areas, uh, you will find that uh, on these collective and state farms, their uh, family units, uh, the homes are cottages, so to speak, 
two-room cottages with a lean-to on the side, but they endeavor uh, very much to make them homey with the limited uh, facilities and equipment that they have to furnish these homes. There are no private homes being built in the big cities such as Moscow, Kiev, and so on at the present time in Russia. They're all these large apartment homes.